Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the integral of sine 8x times cosine 5x dx. Okay, you can solve this integral using the formula for integration by part. That is integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus integral of v du. Okay, so here I define sine 8x as u. And if you take the derivative from each side of this equation, that will be 8 times cosine 8x dx will be equal to du okay and this term that is cosine 5x dx i define as dv therefore v will be equal to integral of cosine 5x dx which will be equal to 1 divided by 5 times sine uh, 5x okay so now you need to substitute these uh, expressions these equations into this formula and if you do that you can rewrite this integral as uh, as u times v u is sine 8x v is 1 divided by 5 times sine 5x so you can write here this 1 divided by 5 times sine uh, 5x times sine 8x that is uv minus integral of v du so v is this one, u is this, du is this term, okay? So 8 times 1 divided by 5, that is 8 divided by 5. I take it out of the integral because it's constant, times uh, basic, that is v sine 5x du, that will be times cosine 8x dx, okay? So here all I did, that is this second term, that is integral of v du, that is this term, multiply by this term, okay, that is v, that is du. 8 divided by 5 is constant, I take, the, take it out, outside the integral, the rest is here. So now basically you need to solve this integral, and this integral you can solve it if you apply this formula for integration by part one more time. So let's solve this integral. Integral of sine 5x cosine 8x dx, okay, to solve this integral, here I define cosine 8x as u, so if you take the derivative from each side of this equation, minus sine 8x dx will be equal to du, okay? And sine 5x dx will be equal to dv, therefore v will be equal to integral of sine 5 x dx and this integral will be equal to minus 1 divided by 5 cosine 5x okay if it is not clear for you how to take this integral write from in the comment section and i will explain for you uh, basically how to do that okay so now you need to substitute these uh, uh, expressions into this formula for integration by part uh, to calculate this integral so therefore this one will be equal to u times v so this is v this is u, so u times v will be equal to minus 1 divided by uh, 5 times cosine 5x times cosine 8x minus integral of v, that is this term, times du. So minus 1 divided by 5 times minus 8, that will be 8 divided by 5. It's constant, so I take it out of, outside the integral, that will be minus 8 divided by 5 times this, times this, okay? That is times cosine 5x sine 8x dx, okay? So remember, this is now the solution of this integral, which was here. So, so therefore you can here conclude that this integral, which was the original integral, okay? You can rewrite it here, this integral of sine 8x cosine 5x, which was given in the question, will be equal to this first term, that is 1 divided by 5, sine 5x, sine 8x, minus 8 divided by 5, times this integral. And this integral, we just calculated, this is equal to this term. Okay, this is equal to this term. Therefore, that will be equal to times, uh, basically, minus 1 divided by 5, cosine 5x, cosine 8x, okay? Uh, that is the first term. Uh, so minus 8 divided by 5, okay? That's the coefficient here, times the second term. So, so the second term is this one, that is minus 8 divided by 5, integral of cosine 5x sine 8x dx, okay? 
So look here, all I did, I write this original integral is this one. This integral is equal to this first term, which I write here, minus 8 divided by 5, that is minus 8 divided by 5, times this integral. And this integral is equal to this term minus this term. So that means that eight minus 8 divided by 5 times the first term, which is minus 1 divided by 5, cosine 5x, cosine 8x, okay? Uh, and then minus 8 divided by 5 times the second term. And the second term is as well minus 8 divided by 5 times this integral, okay? So now, uh, the rest is basically just simple uh, algebra to kind of make it a little bit, uh, it's easy, basically easier to follow. So therefore, from here, you can conclude that uh, this integral, the integral of uh, sine 8x cosine 5x dx will be equal to 1 divided by 5 sine uh, 5x sine uh, 8x, so here minus 8 divided by 5 times minus 1 divided by 5, that will be plus 8 divided by 20, 25 times cosine 5x cosine 8x, okay, and plus minus 8 divided by 5, 8 divided by 5, that will be 64, 25, integral of cosine 5x sine 8x dx, okay? So here now, the good news is this integral is exactly the same as this integral. That is integral of sine 8x cosine 5x. Here you have sine 8x cosine 5x, okay? So all you need to do here, you need to bring this term now to the other side of the integral. So that one will be equal to one, the coefficient here is one, minus 64 divided by 25 integral of cosine 5x sine 8x dx will be equal to basically this two term. That is 1 divided by 5 sine 5x sine 8x plus 8 divided by 25 cosine 5x cosine 8x. Okay? And so 1 minus 64 divided by 25, this is equal to uh, minus 39 divided by 25. Therefore, this integral will be this term times minus 25 divided by 35, okay? Therefore, here uh, you can conclude that the integral of cosine 5x sine 8x dx, which was uh, given in the question, will be equal to uh, the inverse of this, that is minus 25 divided by 39 times one divided by five sine 5x sine 8x plus uh, plus uh, 8 divided by 5 cosine 5x cosine 8x and that is basically the solution of this integral plus c so you may as well want to multiply this factor by each term to just make it you know uh, to read a bit uh, to look a bit nicer so therefore you can write this integral cosine 5x sine 8x dx will be equal to 5, uh, uh, 25 divided by 5 is equal to minus 5, 39 sine 5x sine 8x, so here 25, 25 is out, minus 8 divided by 39 times cosine 5x cosine 8x plus c, which is the constant of the integral, okay? And that is the solution to our integral. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are interested, please feel free to subscribe to this channel so that you get updated when I upload new videos. Thank you.